Here is a quick video describing how to share a video within our course website. You can see that I'm on our course website, Read 525, and that I'm already signed in. Being signed in is going to give me access to the Share Videos tab, which I'm going to go back to. I'm going to go into YouTube, and I've already found the video that I'm going to embed in our site, How Google Search Works. If I scroll down a little bit, Underneath the video, you're going to see a button that is share or embed this video. If I scroll over it, it appears and it describes what it is. I'm going to click on it. And at first, it's just going to give me a link to the video. Now, if I was emailing it, that would be fine. I could copy and paste this into an email or post it into a blog or onto a website. And somebody could click on it and they would arrive at this um, video. But what I want to actually do is embed it so somebody can watch the video within our site. So I'm going to click on embed and it's going to already highlight the code. If it's not then not highlighted then just go in and highlight it yourself. Then what I want you to do is copy the code and then we're going to go over to our class website. We're going to click on share videos. And then you can see we have three videos here. I'm going to go up in the upper right, and I'm going to click Add. This is going to give me space that I can paste that code that I grabbed, the embed code. And I'm going to paste it right here. And then I'm going to click Add Video. Now you can see that it put a title in for me. The video is previewed there. It said it was uploaded successfully. I can put a tag in and I'm going to put search. You don't have to put a tag. It just makes it easier to find in the end. Then I look over here in the description and I see it loaded some funky text. That's okay because I can just go in and where the caret is there, I'm going to delete it. So that just leaves a more decipherable description. And you don't even need the description necessarily. I mean, usually the video is self-described. Um, but they had entered that themselves, so this describes what the video is. So then I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to see the video comes up as added by me. But if I go to Share Videos, I can see that it was added to the site, and I could watch it here. And that's all.